Welcome to Zen Dragon, the place to better yourself through martial arts. I'm here with a Chinese broadsword, also known as the Dao. This weapon is featured in lots of kung fu movies. In this video, it's gonna be a quick video all about the broadsword. The Chinese broadsword is known as the Dao. At the end of the handle, a lot of times there will be a piece of cotton hanging. This is called the Tao Tsai. It's often used in Wushu because it will make the movements look a lot flashier. But it also has martial application as it will always be a colorful piece of clothing and it can actually distract the opponent a bit. Let's see, there's two sides of the blade and the front one is the sharp one. Because the other end isn't sharp, you can use it, you can use your hand to support it. You can also use your shoulder, for instance, when blocking. But don't use the shoulder of the same arm you're holding the weapon in. Because then it becomes more awkward and also you're really close to your neck. Now, if you don't want to chop your opponent's head off, then you can also strike here with the handle. And um, it's a close range combat weapon. For this reason, you will be holding it like perhaps a fist's length between your elbow and your body. And you will only rarely thrust out and extend your arm. Okay, so in order to generate power, you will need some momentum. Now, if you bring the sword back to swing, then you risk getting hit. So for this reason, it can be a good idea to do a spin. To, to generate power really quickly. When you do, the spin is also used just to, just to make things look cool. But the whole trick is you hold the sword in your hand and then you flick your, the wrist of your hand forward. You can open up your hand, which makes it easier, but you can also do it while holding, which is a good idea in combat scenarios. Usually you won't find yourself in a combat scenario, but just so you know. Now, the next trick. If you are gonna strike low, then don't do like this. This is a bad idea because it leaves your, your head open and the rest of your body open. It would be much better to carry the blade close to you and in order to strike low, simply use the stains. Okay, so you may have seen this movement a few times in Kung Fu movies. This can have numerous applications. It can either be like a block, where you want to block upwards and then follow with a strike, perhaps to the throat. It can also be simply to have enough space to generate power. And also, if you don't want to like chop the head of your opponent, you can actually use the handles simply to strike, like with a stick or something. You can go for the chin 